You know, food is such a big part of our lives, right? We celebrate with it, comfort ourselves with it, but sometimes our relationship with food can get a bit complicated and turn into an eating disorder. An eating disorder is not just about eating too much or too little. It is a connection between your emotions, thoughts, and how you see yourself. It's more common than you might think, and it's important to talk about it. Now, how do you know if you are dealing with an eating disorder? There are signs that can give you a hint. Keep an eye out for big changes in eating habits, like eating way less or way more than usual. And if you start avoiding meals or if you're obsessed with counting calories, that could be a red flag too. Weight changes that happen really quickly or secret behaviors around food might also be signs that something is up. But here's the thing, it's not just about the food. Eating disorders often come with a bunch of other feelings, like anxiety, guilt, or the lack of self-esteem. Imagine feeling really bad about yourself and then using food as a way to cope. So, why do these eating disorders come up in the first place? Well, there's no one particular answer because everyone's story is a bit different. It's a mix of things. Some have a genetic tendency, while others could be dealing with stress, pressure, or tough times in life. And sometimes, it's a way to have control when other things feel out of control. The important thing to remember is that eating disorders are not a choice. If you or someone you know is going through this, it's crucial to reach out for support. You don't have to deal with it alone. Friends, family, and professionals are here to help you through these tough times. And hey, if you're feeling like you need support and guidance, consider booking a trial therapy session with us. The link is in the description.